Okay, this is Picasso's Dove part two. We're gonna finish up this project today. Um, just recapping and showing you some examples of um, Picasso's Dove and uh, some other artists' examples that you could get some ideas from. Uh, the use of a dove in an olive branch is a symbol is symbolic of peace uh, originated with the early Christians. Um, and so I just wanted to show you how simplistic the drawing is. Um, so what we're going to be needing for this project would be uh, watercolor. So you're going to need some watercolor paint, um, some water in a cup, a couple of brushes, a pencil and an eraser, and some scissors. Now, um, just to recap, we saw this last week. Um, this is another very simple drawing of the dove, and you can see he has an olive branch in his beak. All right, this one is kind of a, a little bit more of an exaggerated um, painting of a dove with some designs on its body, um, some wording, and kind of a very ornate um, branch in its mouth that has flowers. This one, <clears throat> very simple. Um, two olive branches in the dove's beak with a blue background. Very nice and, and um, pretty visual. And this one, uh, I rather like. The dove has more gray tones, but the branch has different colorations um, on each leaf with it. I think really make a nice um, uh, painting. And then here's another example. There's so many more to show you, but I wanted to give you some ideas. Um, for any perhaps future drawings that you might want to do or paintings. Um, this one with the simple olive branch, black background, and the moon or sun. Okay, so what you're going to need um, is some scratch paper. And I remember last week we talked, I said to cut out your um, dove. And I've saved a piece of scrap paper, as you can see here. So I'm just gonna draw a simple um, olive branch. So I'm just going to not make it too big, but I'm gonna do this stem. And then I'm going to add some leaves. Now you can do kind of a, a simple um, example, something a little bit different if you'd like, that's fine. And after I've done the drawing, clean up any lines. You don't need to outline this with a marker, but I do recommend you using either color pencil or a green marker to color in your branch. And um, what you could do is make it simple and outline it before you cut it and color it in. Okay, and then it can be any shade of green that you'd like. And you could add more than one branch like I showed you in some of the examples. And then what you're gonna do is cut the branch out. Make sure that if there are any white edges, you either trim it off or use your marker to color that in.
So once you've finished trimming out your, your olive branch, we're gonna set that aside. And for the background, you can pretty much do anything with your background. You could have your dove, um, this is seven by 10, so you could have your dove um, horizontal or you could have your dove vertical. And the only thing is, is that it would go slightly off the paper on both sides, which is okay. And what I'm doing for this one, I think I'll just um, outline it with a black marker. Um, I'm just gonna have my dove in hand. So this part would kind of act as the thumb for the hand. And then I would just simply go by the base of the neck and extend a line going up, curve over and down, and just draw the fingers out. So you would only see four fingers holding the dove. And you could do it first in marker and then just extend the palm coming in. And then this would extend on the other side of the dove for the hand and take that all the way down to the bottom of your paper. And then I'm just gonna, gonna break up a little bit of the space here. And if you wanted this to be kind of a multicultural painting, then I would recommend using different skin tones um, from your paint. And then just simply color or um, erase any pencil lines after you've drawn out your, your um, hand. So this is what it's going to look like before we um, start to paint. So you could do this on a black background if you'd like. You could cut this hand out and, and put it on some black paper, um, which would really make it pop. There's so many different options. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your dove aside and then we're just gonna paint the hand with the watercolors and like I said maybe using different skin tones is an option you could do different reds and blues and leave your background white so I'm choosing to do more of a multicultural <laughs> hi Mookie he insists on He insists always on drinking my watercolor water. Okay, and then I'm gonna move into a different skin tone here, slightly darker. And you don't really have to take it all the way down. If your dove is smaller, then I would just suggest painting all the way down to the bottom part of your paper. Come on, get out of there. Go on, go. Come on. And then I'm gonna move into this color. You can choose any colors you'd like. So we are moving into Black History Month since it is now uh, February. We'll be doing some projects for that. So what you can do is extend your color that you were using to the bottom of your paper, the wrist of your hand. have a, a rag that you can reuse. We don't 
have to have so much waste. I'm going to go back over to continue this color on this side. Wrong color. <laughs> Now, when you're done painting, you're going to need this to dry before you mount your dove on. It should dry rather quickly. Now this went outside of the area. So what I'm gonna do is just clean my brush use a tiny bit of water on the brush and just go right up against the edge that bled out so that I'm cleaning it up just a little bit so it's easy. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to this. I'm gonna take it down. Now, if the bird is big enough, then you're able to um, cover these areas up with your paint. Um, if it's not, you're gonna have to use more paint to complete the background. Now, while that's drying for just a second, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use my scissors and add just a tiny cut inside the beak and then I'm going to insert my olive branch and you can kind of direct it any way you'd like and then you could just simply add a tiny bit of glue um, right in the beak so that the branch doesn't um, move or you could just kind of add a tiny bit to the tip of of your um, beak or the end of your sorry the end of your um, branch and then insert it in the beak make sure that you're glue is you're able to get access to it okay and then be gentle with the beak and make sure that you kind of hold it down for a little bit and adjust the way you want your bird um, in the branch to look and then what you'll do is you'll check to make sure that there aren't any areas that you need to paint. And I'm just noticing a couple more, so I'm just going to have to paint that. And notice how I didn't put it on the painting. I did not want it to um, get wet or I didn't want it to smudge so 
I'm adding it a little bit lower. And I think I need to extend these up slightly. So the idea is so that you can make sure that beneath the bird, your, your, um, is not going to um, show through. Okay, that should work. And then just again, make sure. Okay, and I'm gonna have to bring this down just a little bit lower. Once again, put your dove over your paper to make sure that it's lined up and the background is covered. Now, what might make it easier is just to extend your paper so it meets the bottom, but you don't have to. It's just an idea, just a thought. And you can kind of move your bird or your dove in different directions to see how that'll work. I'm just gonna move that over. And there you have the dove in hand. I think what I'm gonna do, see the thing about doing art, it's trial and error. And it's um, important to kind of just play with it and see how it's going to look and work. You might not like it. You might want to start all over again, and that's okay. Um, it's a process of experimentation um, and problem solving. And I'm going to just extend with my marker and take that down. So I too make mistakes in art. It's okay. I learn from my mistakes and then I'm able to continue and just really be happy with um, changes. So as you can see, once that dries, I'm going to add some glue on the back. Now you don't have to add the part that's sticking out, um, whatever part of the tail sticking out or a little bit of the head. Um, Carefully, your fingers are clean. I got a tiny bit of paint on my dove. So I'm going to just kind of clean that up a little bit with a clean bit of water on my brush and not wipe it and just leave it like that. Okay, so then um, you're just going to add the glue to the areas that stick out, as you can see here. And I think one more thing is that I'm gonna extend this. So I might as well finish this up. I thought I could get away with leaving it empty. And it's okay. Like I said, it's all trial and error to see how everything's going to work. So I'm just gonna fill this in right here and even over here with the same color. Okay. And then don't glue it on while it's wet. There. And then I would simply just glue um, the 
the head, not the beak that's sticking out, or the tip of the tail that's sticking out. And there you have your, your peace dove with your olive branch. Okay, thanks so much, and I will see you again next week.